Welcome back. I'm Sarah Deshaw, blogger and online educator for entrepreneurs over at saradeshaw.com. In this video, I'm going to share Instagram feed layout ideas with you so you can get some ideas on ways you could design your brand's Instagram feed. Having a clear aesthetic makes your brand look really polished and put together, and that automatically gives your brand a sense of credibility. If that's something you'd like for your brand, keep on watching. When it comes to Instagram, there is one must have aesthetic that every single brand should have. And that, as you could probably guess, if you've watched any of my videos, is a color theme. So in the examples I'm gonna share with you today, you'll notice they all have a strong color theme. And if you want my tips and ideas on how to pick the right color theme for your brand, scour my YouTube for this video right here. Once you have your color theme, you really could stop there and your feed would look pretty darn cohesive and there's nothing wrong with stopping there, but you're here because you don't wanna stop there. You wanna go the extra mile and find a layout that works for your brand. As I go through these examples, try to imagine them with each of your brand colors and your brand style of graphics or photography. And if you want all of this information that I'm gonna to share today in a PDF form, including which apps to use and directions to follow for each of these layouts, in the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you where you can get your hands on a free PDF download that shares all of that information. Okay, so let's dig in. The first one is a checkerboard layout. To create this look, you'll need to choose two distinct post styles that align with your brand's aesthetic. Once you have your two distinct styles, Every other post should be in each of these styles. So in the example on the screen, the pattern goes photo, quote, photo, quote, and so on. However, you totally don't have to use quotes to use this Instagram layout. You could use two distinct photography styles or even two distinct graphic styles. So apps like Unum and Planoly, which I'll link to below this video, can help you arrange your posts in a checkerboard fashion before you post them. The second idea I want to share with you is a collage layout. So to create this look, you'll need two distinct border styles. One that crops your photos horizontally with a white background like this, and one that crops your photos vertically with a white background like this. It's super important to keep the two border styles each consistently the same size. Because of this, I like using Canva.com's free online software to set up each of these as templates. I'll place a link to Canva below this video. It's super easy to use and you're gonna love it. So once you set up and use your templates, just download the finished photos from Canva and use apps like Unum or Planoly to arrange your photos into a pattern of horizontal, then vertical, then horizontal, and vertical, and so on prior to posting. Or you might wanna play with a feed that has horizontal lines or vertical lines. To do either of these layouts, you'll need at least two distinct post styles, but of course you could do more. And you'll need to use a feed planning app like Planoly or Unum to drop your photos in and rearrange them to create a style with either vertical lines or horizontal lines. Easy peasy. At the moment on my Instagram feed, I'm playing around with the horizontal lines aesthetic combined with a rotating color theme. So it's a little bit complicated, but I wanted to give it a try. So if you wanna check out the latest on my feed, my username goes by my name. It's just Sarah Deshaw. If you come over to Instagram from here, I would love for you to say hi and let me know you came from this video. The fifth idea I wanna share with you is the border layout. To do this, you'll need to select a border style and color that aligns with your brand's aesthetic. Then you'll need to find an app like Instasize, PicFrame, or Lido, which again, are all linked below this video. So those apps will help you add your desired border before you're posting it. As I said before, it's really important that you use a consistent border color and consistent border size to make this theme look as pro as possible. And even though this isn't what I do on my feed, it's actually one of my favorite layouts. So I have a little more to share with you, but when you're done watching this video, I would love for you to leave a comment and share which layout was your favorite. The next layout idea I wanna share with you is the shape layout. To do this memorable feed, pick a shape that aligns with your brand's aesthetic. So this feed is basketball themed, so it's only fitting that the shape picked here is a circle like a basketball. Once you've picked a shape that aligns with your brand, use one of the apps I've linked below, like Lido or Pixart, that will help you cut your photo into your desired shape before posting. Now, I typically recommend keeping a white background for this Instagram theme, but if you have an on-brand reason to do otherwise, then go for it. 
If any of these layouts piqued your interest and you're like, oh my gosh, I think I want to use one of those, I have a free download that summarizes all the styles I went over today and how to create them. So if you'd like me to send that to you, it's a PDF guide. I'll just send it to you right in your inbox. Then click on the link below this video or head to saradashawcom slash Instagram dash layouts to get it. If you want to learn more about creating a cohesive Instagram feed, subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell because next week's video is all about what apps to use that will help you create a cohesive Instagram feed. Again, you'll want to hit the notification bell so you don't miss that video. Until then, check out one of these two videos I've already created on how to choose your brand's color theme, so that's this one, or how to come up with photo ideas to market your business on Instagram. If you want to keep up with my channel, then tap this button over here to subscribe. I create videos about on-brand content creation, mindset, marketing, and more. I hope you have a really great week and I hope to see you again very, very soon. Bye.